All right, guys, welcome back to another ESPN highlight reel. This is going to be a fun one as Alex crushed it this week. And as always, guys, I mean, the community did amazing as well, following along the live commentary, the watch list, everything. But I always start with this. Guys, if you like this video or you want to watch more or you want to join the community or you have any questions, this is the most important thing. I am here for you. You can text me immediately at 213-458-5997 to get your questions answered. But I am going to show you at the end that you should be booking a call on our site. All right, guys, let's get into this because this is going to be real fun. So GNS, a couple things I want to point out. Um, as this was the watch list on Monday, the 23rd, Alex was saying, oh, well, hold on. Let me pull up the chart for you. So it makes a little sense. Uh, we're looking for the 23rd. Let me go to a, uh, what I call a 20 day chart. So I can pull back and see the forest for the trees. As you guys can see right here, follow along with the date. We are coming in right here, guys. So here's what's happening. So Alex said overnight shorts might be stuck on this. So would need even need an overextended move up to short. Ideally, Looking to short for 425 and 450. So here's what Alex did. And let me let me kind of expand upon this a little bit. As you can see, his entry points at 340. He followed it down after smoke showing it at 365. And I'm gonna give his commentary. Pre-market shorts on VWAP projection added to winner when new hot chicks showed up. So then we're coming to the open, guys. And uh, you know, once over here into the open, having cushioned himself pre-market following trend down and doing exactly what he should have been doing. A stock that's way under VWAP, it keeps testing, it becomes resistance. This was just beautiful. And then he added to a winner right before the open and covered the dip or covered the wash. At 327 to lock it in. Reshort starters on the bounce with a plan to add at VWAP. Added when it went red on FOMO, covered FOMO, and called it a day. Guys, that is what a $16,000 morning looks like. A morning, not a day, not a week, not a month, a morning. So today turned into a monster day. Thanks to GNS. Stock selection remains everything always, I should say, in this market. Focused on the MIC process of money flow. Where is the demand coming from? Where is the man, you know, where is the demand on others dissipating? Money flow is so important, guys. And we and we talk about this all the time with stock selection. And was able to get a great entry add add size on GNS when the move confirmed to fail. Very happy to have ignored the hot stocks of the day. Exactly what I was just saying. Alex is going to go where the demand is actually mitigated and, and like not present versus the ones of the stock, you know, the hot stocks of the day, guys, where all the demand is and he's going to be fighting trend. He wants to ride trend. He doesn't want to fight trend. That is the key of being a trader. So we come in and see what the members are doing. Members absolutely crushed it. Thank you, Alex, from the watch list. Hey, what a shock. What a coincidence. <laughs> MIC members join MIC and get a shit ton of value. What a freaking miracle worker. Guys, this is not rocket science. This is not miracle working. This is just, we know what we're doing. We've been doing this for a very long time. We coach you every single morning. And this is a perfect representation on GNS of one of our members crushing it, reading the watch list, and having a full plan of attack. Hooper X doing what he does best, following trend or hitting outer lines. On this one specifically, he was following down the trend. Beautiful, beautiful job. Reasonably Izzy, wonderful, wonderful catch right there. Sold into the rip. Uh, and I love that I love taking profits off here because guys, every now and then when you get a like a smoke show up to VWAP like that, it's gonna reject a lot of the time. This time it didn't, but I'm always for process, and that is in process. At least paying yourself some. And then Tom Kai did a wonderful job on this. This is the stereotypical guys. Front side shorts require front side covers. And then once he saw in the beginning that the trend was really intact, guess what he's doing? Now he's longing it and selling the rips. Beautiful, beautiful switch. Like a, like a switch hitter, like backhand to forehand, guys. That's really important. Irresponsibly long, catching another one on GNS. Oh, <laughs> undersold GNS. I love that. Hey, guys, if you're underselling, you, you know you're paying yourself and doing something right. You're at least getting some profits. All right, we're coming into Tuesday the 24th, and Alex made 8.2K. Some days you're in the matrix, and other days you're in the gutter. Was totally in the matrix today, which Alex has been pretty much every day this year. Even went long the hot stocks. BXRX stock selection means everything. It remains, guys. We're going to sound like broken records. We're going to repeat this. We're going to instill it in your brain stems and the neural pathways to program the guy's stock selection is truly everything. And then it's risk management. So it's everything in this market. Very happy with my performance in 2023 so far. And let's get into this. So GNS, let me just move that back. GNS real quick. We're coming into the following day. 
All right, here we are, guys. L let me actually pull that up one more time. So now, Tuesday, GNS looking short. Sorry, I'm trying to make room for everything. Looking to short 5, 520, and 550 lines with a 575 stop if it pops. But if it tanks at the open, we can look for a red to green fail on short. Alex did a wonderful job, guys, as you guys can see right here. Let me just expand upon this a little bit. In the open, waited for this pump up to VWAP, caught that, uh, covered down, and, dude, your day is made right there, guys. Remember, in the first hour of the day, you can make a full-time living, and that's exactly what we got there. So BXRX, let me kind of pull this up one second. And we are on the 24th, so let me scale back right here on the day that it ran. You can see the big catalyst. I keep closing this on accident. All right, so BXRX, guys, low float runner, hot chick, ignore the short. So guess what Alex did? He longed it. He longed it. Alex is even improving on his own process. Awesome, awesome, awesome job. Took advantage of that. INBS, we're going to pull this up for you. Bear with me. There's a lot to cover this week. There's like, there's like too much to cover. So it's day two of the runner, guys. As you can see, day one right here, day two. Uh, let's read what Alex was thinking. 150. 160 and 170 lines to scale in short um and guys 180 simple stop the, the alex did exactly that come the open you get this you get this pop into overhead bag holders they sell hard he covers into the wash it's really that simple guys it can be that simple i like we're not kidding you when we say we've simplified trading so Let's see what the members are doing. T Dog, absolutely beautiful on Grom. Beautiful. Saw the trend change. Even drew the trend line and hit the pops when it tops out. I love that. David on GNS was actually shorting it and actually took a little bit of a loss there. But what a beautiful cut. This thing is going back green on the day. What a beautiful cut. So risk management is so key. And then on this one, he waited for the top out on buy off, shorted the pop, and then covered the wash. I think he could be a little bit more patient than that pop, but this is a great trade. Um, let's see. George, let me, uh, George killed it on INBS day two. I love it. Exactly what Alex did. Waited for the morning pop. Guys, I'm telling you, man, you just, you just got to read the watch list in the morning. <laughs> it's like, you want to be a successful trader, just read our watch list. Absolutely. Hold on. Let me, let me make this bigger, guys. Absolutely stellar job. BXRS and GNS just hitting outer lines, following trend when it's broken, waiting for pops. Guys, outer lines and follow the trend once it's broken wait for the top out signal the death count of the stuff right there yuichi absolutely phenomenal job that is that is literally perfect process right there all right guys we're coming into wednesday and i'll just kind of pull everything up <laughs> i need like i need like 10 different monitors to do all this man i'm telling you here's what i could do all right I'll, I'll combine those into one that'll help remember guys this is the espn highlights mic style so we're going a little quick because we for the sake of time so obviously we are on Wednesday, the 25th guys, 7.3 K another day where I'm very proud of my trading been focused and waiting for the broken stocks to attack, not getting myself into trouble, not oversizing. And of course, as Alex always says, and it's very important to reiterate stock selection is a plus and that makes me happy. So if you are focusing on the right stocks, guys, you are going to excel. So the first one, hold on one sec. So the first one, FWBI, let's pull that up. And we are on the 25th right here, that day that it ran. I think I gave a webinar on this. That's why I had that there. Let me just remove that. Uh, but yeah, so F FWBI had a pre-market short in this due to the pump, but I, am, but I am ignoring it now on the short side due to it being low float. So Alex caught the pump. Awesome job pre-market. There's not much more to say than that. Um, Snoa, potential hot chick of the morning. So ignoring on the short side, but I'm sure that if you caught his updated live commentary, he definitely felt that once it was topping out that he could get something in the morning, which is exactly what he did guys into these pops into bag holders right here, outer lines, beautiful job. I N P X. Let me pull that up. 25th right here guys as you can see this thing is down oh, let me pull it up for you <laughs> all right there we go as you can see this is downtrending it's already made a top pre-market guys it's really catching people and uh alex did exactly that follow the trend down pre-market just a just a beautiful job into the open he actually had a long hold on this one as you can see he held all the way to the open that's that's an hour short right there but you know what it, it it's a beautiful short it's a beautiful freaking short a whole hour before open cover the wash in the morning what more needs to be said guys follow the trend down it's absolutely beautiful all right guys let's see what the members were doing so if we cruise into wednesday what we're gonna see is that the members were also crushing it and not just alex 
Ramin Goev short, obviously a beautiful job under VWAP following trend down. Beautiful job. E on INPX doing exactly what Alex was talking about. Again, nice call to the watch list. Nice call to Alex. Guys, when you when you read the watch list every single day, you have a serious edge. And T-Dog on INPX, same thing. Following trend down, hitting those expected pops into overhead, into bag holders, paying yourself in the wash. There's literally not more to be said than that, how simple it is. The art of chasing a scalp. Bastouf on Grom. I love it. Wait for the tops. Hit under VWAP. Cover the wash. Beautiful. Uh, David. David, great job, man, on this. Nice catch on the lows. Saw the support line. This is just a beautiful use of lines, guys. Where did this stock hold before or where did the stock fail before? And this is how you draw your lines. Where are the support? Where are the resistance levels? And that is everything in trading, guys. All right, FWBI. In fact, you know what's so funny about yesterday? There's a huge lesson in this. Guys, think about that. I'm going to scroll here. Alex made 16000 8000 7000 and on this day, he lost not even $400. You guys have to understand how important risk management is. And I know, I know, compared to how much he, you know, he gets on the rebate side, this is basically a break-even day. He's probably green on the day. Point is, slow day today, was not looking to get too aggressive, a.k.a. risk management. Tried to short FWBI into resistance and stopped out for a small loss and didn't see anything real else to trade. Guys, that is unbelievable risk management. You have to understand how important this is. And specifically from a guy who is like legitimately making $100,000 in a trade or $17,000 or $40,000. Like Alex is not pushing. He's not here to push. He's not here to try to make all this back or do something stupid. So it's just really important, guys. You have to understand how important risk management is. And that's exactly what happened here. And Alex did a wonderful job of just being like, you know what? It's going to keep going. I'm just going to cut this. And that's what he did. It be it's just beautiful, man. I Again, guys, you have to celebrate your, your losses that are part of process not just losses you got to learn from the loss and you're never going to fail if you learn the lesson i'm telling you get get one percent better daily and then the percentages stack up it's really like <laughs> i'm telling you guys i'm telling you the secret sauce here so sometimes you got to celebrate a loss and then ryan conley check this out guys let me just zoom in a little bit nice catch on mlgo beautiful job we're not just a short community awesome job right off support coming in i love it beautiful chooch my main man chooch Big old pop to outer lines on CVNA. What did he do? Covered the wash, probably went to work. Dude, that's the way to do it. Hooper X doing what he does best. Outer lines are following trend down. Use case of lines here is beautiful. And then followed the trend down. Cushion yourself on the first one. Pay yourself on the second one. And definitely pay yourself on the third one. Absolutely stunning. Uh, going right here to Vaughn. First long trade in forever, but MLGO. Again, something holding support. Dude, launch right off support like a trampoline, and he's selling into the like he's not being greedy. He's taking the money, and then Highlander on MLGO. Not you don't look. Here's the cool part. He longed MLGO. This member waited for the top end and then shorted it. This is a cohesive environment of longs and shorts, guys. That's the power of community. All right, we're coming into today, and Alex had a so-so day for him. <laughs> this is like dream money to a lot of people, but that's eh, so-so for Alex. A little bit of cash change. $4,200, guys, solid way to end the week. Very good stock selection on MLGO. Mark and QNCX this morning. BZFD felt a little trappy, so I took a small scalp and walked away $4,200, guys. So let's actually pull them up and go through these one by one real quick. Give me a second. MLGO coming into today, day two. Uh, if I go to, let me just cancel that. and <laughs> Let me find all my files here. Bear with me. Uh, MLGO, nice short pre-market based on the watch list. Sticking to the same plan. Nail and bail only. Low-hanging fruit. Looking for a morning pop towards 3, 320, 350 lines to scale in short. Obviously, guys, the whole plan was right there laid out. And Alex crushed it as usual. Literally just freaking crushed it. This is, this is picture perfect. Now we go to Mark. It was just a day one today. Just a random day one-er. But uh, let's see what he did. So right here. And then... I love the use case of lines on this. So this is something that just kind of like pops up, guys. So if it's not on the watch list, if it comes up and Alex sees it last minute, then of course you got to slam it. But here's the beautiful part. Look at the line. Look at the use of lines on this. Alex always waits for his lines. It's just so important. So come the open, you get this pop back up to an outer line. Alex takes it. Simple as that. 
All right, last one. QNC. I know we had a lot of charts this week from Alex. QNCX, guys. What a smoke show of stock that's just broken overhead pre market. Ramps into overhead, gets slammed again, <laughs> tries one more time, gets slammed, and then just bleeds off on no volume all day. I mean, this is. This is ugly. Like this is this is hideous. So what did Alex do? He basically hit the outer line pop or he drew the line. It, it's stunning. Stunning. What what more needs to be said? I, I know I've said that a million times this webinar, but seriously, what more needs to be said? It's like if you guys aren't getting it by now, you gotta join MIC, man. I'm telling you, we're teaching this daily. We're teaching this every single morning. PO, wonderful job on BZ, BZFD, nail and bail, awesome job. And then, dude. MLGO, low hanging fruit, covered the fourth half position when it reclaimed BWAP, paid himself, and he's out. Love it. E, E again on BZFD, long short, took the short off scratch. Unless something comes up, I'm out. That is discipline, guys. Listen to what he just said. Unless something else comes up, I'm basically saying I'm not going to force. Have a great weekend. Hagwa, have a great weekend. <laughs> Funny story. 10 years ago, when I was a brand new trader, I thought this was a ticker that everybody was talking about in the first week, and I was like, who the hell is trading HAGW? Where is this ticker? It means have a good weekend. So this is a funny piece of history. Um, I love this Viking. I'll stick, I'll stick to low hangers. That's what he said, guys. Stock selection is so important. Never go after the hot chick, especially if you don't know how to play it. Um, but it's never really a good idea to go after it at all. And then uh, stick to your low hangers. Simple process. Simple, simple, simple. QNCX, pop and drop. Low hangers. Love it. Nice, Super X. And then Travers coming in with the Scoop City. Lost in the first one, realized he probably made a mistake, got back in, sold for a, a, bit, a way better win, and uh, beautiful long, beautiful long. All right, guys, check this out. So this is our Slack community. This is our chat room. So all of this that you see is all within these subsequent channels. So I'm going to add a couple right here. Or I'm going to go through a couple because sometimes my channels disappear on this computer. But check this out, guys. Watch list. Every single day, Alex is showing you the watch list of what he's focused on. So if we scroll down to like the most current today, obviously this was the watch list. This is what we're talking about. This is where everybody's got an edge. We take it to the main trading chat room and within here, executing, talking, warning, showing charts, showing you why process works, warning you when it doesn't. And not when your process doesn't work, process works. But when your plan didn't work, and that might happen sometimes, you might actually have to take the L. But that's why we teach risk management. So as you guys can see, just a wonderful job from our team every single day. Three mentors, 25 moderators in here to teach you, to warn you, to guide you, to mentor, to educate, to get on the phone with you, to get, like blow up our DMs if you want. It's crazy, man. It's crazy how much resource we have at MIC to guide you guys and teach you how to trade and just really mentor you. Large cap and options room, guys. We have a small cap room. We have a large cap and option room. We have a swing trading room. We have an after hours. Let me pull that up for a second, which I was actually just in. After hours, basically an off-topic channel, but memories and dinners and steaks and, and family guy and funny said bow getting the, the happy ending, apparently. <laughs> Point is, is this is the power of community, guys. This is the power of fun. This is what it's all about. Like You join MIC not just to learn how to trade. You join to be around your people around like-minded people who are also traders man seriously like it's very different when you know fellow traders this is a very lonely career but as we always say guys it, it really doesn't have to be it really doesn't have to be so if you go to our website myinvestingclub.com guys i'm on the video library page right here I want to show you all of our content right here, our roadmap right here on how to get started in the accelerator course, the curriculum, um, you know, the phase live study guide, like everything in a nutshell. But here's what's super cool. So check this out. If I scroll all the way down to all of these wonderful categories, but Alex's live trades right here, what you're going to see in here is Alex will literally record his screen live. And what he's going to do on like on this example, guys, you know, nearly $11,000 profit, nearly 12,000, 67,000, whatever it is, he's going to record a screen while he trades. We're going to send it to our editing bay later with an after the fact recording of him talking about his live trade. So the trade is recorded live, but what he does is he goes back in later. And then, so, you know, obviously he doesn't do this while he's trading. So it doesn't mess up his trading that he's recording. But it'll go back in later and add audio commentary on what he was thinking and show you guys the deal. And you, again, you guys got to get your sea legs on this ship of trading. And Alex is going to do that specifically for this lifetime exclusive series of Alex's live trades. So if you guys want to get this, you got to go lifetime. Just book a call with me. But it's really worth it, guys. Check this out. So last thing. We're on the site right here. You can see Alex's broker statements. Get a one hour free training. Meet the whole team. Meet the creators. Meet the whole team down here. Check out Alex's broker statements. Whatever you want. 
But right here, guys, right here is the most important part of this webinar. If you have interest in MIC, don't even leave it up to your own imagination. Get the clarification, get the competence, get the confidence, get the, get the roadmap to see if you even want to join by texting me and or booking a call, which is a lot better value. Get on the phone with me, see if MIC is for you. Um, you know, just fill in your information. It'll go to my Google Calendar. We will schedule a time slot. Um, and guys, we'll see if MIC is for you. I'm happy to help. And we will catch you next week for an ESPN highlight reel again. See you guys.